I know there was this expert, I'm not counting her, but there were four men. And uh, related to that, how did you choose these particular subjects? I'm sure you must have interviewed quite a you know, number of people. Did you have those particular characteristics in your mind that you wanted in them? Or they just happen to be? No, and, and let me answer that in reverse. They happen to be. You know, I don't set out with the intention of, as an anthropologist, I don't set out with the intention of having a kind of a hypothesis that I'm going to test out and try to find somebody who will fit into that model. But the only thing that I will say is that um, it, halfway through the editing the process and then reshooting some of the interviews, it became clear that it needed to be filmed about um, men making different decisions around masculinity, not necessarily the stereotype of masculinity. And um, I, 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 so that's why I wanted to get someone who, um, you know, Gurpreet is somebody that I worked with before. He was actually in Roots of Love. He's the uncle who ties the turban to the young boy. And when I met him for Roots of Love, I thought his, his, his kind of experience um, of having two daughters was so fascinating and the way he was able to articulate his relationship with his daughters, with his daughters and the decision to not have a son was really amazing. So I knew that I wanted to come back and interview him. Uh, Amandeep, I just happened to meet almost um, sort of by circumstance. Uh, he's written a book that deals with the issue of sexual violence uh, male on male sexual violence, which you don't hear much of. Um, you don't, uh, in, and that's such a big issue in some ways. I think in uh, masculinity is produced in U.S. as well as here through these very very violent processes. There's physical violence, there's emotional violence, there's um, kind of uh, verbal violence, and I wanted to capture that. And Amdeep also speaks very art articulates that very well. Um, I wanted to, there's another uh, a person I interviewed who's a transgender individual who went from female to male, and I wanted him to speak about, you know, um, what, how he kind of dealt with the issue of masculinity and how he thought, what he thought about his, um, his, uh, his kind of relationship to his masculinity. But, you know, it's really <coughs> hard to talk, get people to talk about these issues. Many men, at least in, in India, don't think about that. They take it for granted, right? So that was the biggest challenge. And I ended up, and, and uh, this individual was not very articulate on film. And that's one of the challenges too. You know, in order for it to work, you have to be able to articulate your ideas on the camera and be able to speak critically and think critically uh, about the, the sort of these issues that you're exploring. So I ended up not including that person. I. Um, you know, there's only so much you can do in 32 minutes. <laughs> or not 32, 28 minutes. There's only so much you can do. How does it affect you? How does it affect you, you know, personally? Meaning that, you know, see, you're saying, you're saying that, you know, about uh, religion and sexuality. First of all, family and the fact that, you know, you said that was your family and I made out, made you out from the photograph. So what I'm asking is, as to whether, uh, you know, how does that affect you personally? The fact that you see so much, you see something else around you and what you see, what you believe in as a filmmaker is different isn't it you've been I, I, I couldn't reconcile myself to the fact that you know I could a filmmaker like you could actually have a family like that are you getting it yeah. <laughs> so then how have you like how has that affected you in your filmmaking personally you know you say to you people parents will say you know if you ever come out I'll throw you out of the house if you ever get love married I'll throw you out of the house if you, if you ever cut your hair I'll throw you out of the house you know in my opinion cutting your hair and wearing the turban is kind of like almost like coming out there's a very similar process. And in the end, the mother will still forgive her son. The mother will still say, like, no, 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 you know, even though you've committed this crime, I'm going to forgive you because that's my job as a mother. There is a better murder. So, so what people say and what people do is very different. And I think in some ways the challenge of a filmmaker is to be able to show that. And that's what I was trying to get at. 